We That's might have to better. re-talk about all of our goodies, Maureen. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can see the mic capture actually moving now. That's good. One? Can our friends hear us now? Possibly. Yes, the people on Facebook Oh, do. the Facebook has the sound. It's the people on YouTube that do not. Oh, good to know. So they got, they got our preamble, yeah. and then we'll talk about all the goodies again. Okay. It looks like it's pretty good. There you go. Okay, oh, perfect. Good. Thank you, Robin. Now YouTube has us. Fabulous. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Go. So what we we're talking about is Maureen is working on the top of our project. And on our little project, we have our little reindeer. And he has borders. He only has two side borders and one top border. So she's gone over that way and she is sewing that. And I am going to start working with our fusible web and I'm going to trace on the papery side, not on the textured side. And I made sure that I have the templates reversed for fusible web um, so that I'm not tracing on the wrong side. Otherwise, you could have a scan and cut and you can use ones that aren't reversed. So we can get on drawing and I just have my little pencil here. And I am going to start drawing and we can see right through there nicely. You could also use a light box underneath your project if you find it hard to see. This is kind of fun to draw. How are you doing over there, Maureen? Well, hmm, I'll let you know in a second. Let me see. All right, and I am going to check here, and I'm going to draw on what my pattern's showing. So it's showing the edge there on this little arrow, and it's saying it's piece number 17, hat, cuff. Hmm. So I'm going to make sure I write that down so that I don't remember, I have to remember it for later. And then we'll go to our next piece. Oh, no. oh, it wants me to put, tell it what foot I have. fun. All right. So Maureen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> do you have a whole bunch of advent calendars at home? I do. I have lots of them and I love them. Um, I have enough advents to keep an army busy opening up calendars. And my son, uh, I asked him this year what kind of advent he wants. And he goes, seriously, mom, do we really need to keep doing that? He's 19 um, and he's, he's a little bit past it. Last year, I bought two crafting advents. And so, mm -hmm. because my younger son would always kind of do whatever I wanted to do. He'd just kind of, if I said, let's do this together, let's do the Lego together. He'd be like, okay, fine, let's do it. Um, so I bought the crafting one together. I got them from chapters. He wouldn't even do the crafts with me last year. He was like, I've had it. Enough is enough. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, so I did, I was doing like two of the crafts all by myself and they were ridiculous. They were like crafts geared to three year olds and three to five year olds kind of things. But was it fun? Oh, I was having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was kind of, I don't know. And I, I didn't get all of them done every day. Um, Oh, there we go. Um, and so I have, I have some of those still left over and I thought, well, maybe I'll just do it again. And he goes, oh, you're not going to rope me into that again. And I was like, you didn't even do them with me, you turkey. So I don't know. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll just make an advent of 
like nice notes to give them or something, but they're just not into it the way that I am. So that's okay. We like to do Secret Santa. That's something that we've done for years. So we usually pick a friend or a neighbor that we know has had kind of a rough year and do like the 13 days of, 12 days of Christmas. Um, and we just secret Santa them. Yeah. With little, um, with a little saying and a gift and, uh, and then we just drop it off at the door and run away. That's um, adorable. And so we've done that for years and years. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, we, we did it for, um, friends and, and neighbors and, um, and that sort of thing. It's a lot of prep. <laughs> Uh, and I think we'll probably do it again this year. We've got a number of um, the kids' friends who've kind of had a, had a rough year with uh, losing family members and that sort of thing. So I think we'll probably do that again this year. That's um, a really good idea. Yeah. I, I like... Uh, my older son is... Um, he's on the spectrum. So he has a, a hard time sometimes thinking about how other people feel, right? They, they, they're just not great at kind of tuning into other people's emotions. And so I find that this kind of helps him with that. Um, so he looks forward to it every year because we talk a lot about, um, about kind of the emotional side of things. And I think it's his way of kind of connecting with people. So he does, he really enjoys that every year. So we, um, we'll, we'll probably do that again this year. So thinking about which families to do we usually pick three or four it used to be like everybody would pick a friend or a family member and so we would do four every year but it, it gets quite it can get quite busy trying to get to four families every night for 12 days that that could get very busy especially depending on how far away from the house they are there was one year we were we lived down in the deep south and we were having to run almost to downtown every day <laughs> That was a bit rough. <laughs> and that's how you keep busy in the winter, though. Yes, yeah. Pretty it was fabulous. it was easier when I wasn't working. <laughs> Make that jaunt. So, how about you? Do you do advents? I I don't. This might. Well, I used to when I was little, and I my favorite thing was pulling all the chocolates out all the time. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Um, but as I got older, of course, I stopped getting the chocolates right <laughs> and now I I don't know I was thinking of getting a makeup advent but oh, yeah. that gets expensive so I was totally thinking of making my own as well because there's still tons of time yeah I totally wasn't paying attention this is probably the wiggliest line ever seen on a straight stitch ever it is all over. Oh, I already finished this page. I traced all my little uh, pictures. Okay. And I'm going to do my next page. Oh my which goodness. Which is just on the other side. This might be almost like three eighths on this part of the line. I think it looks beautiful. We may, uh, yeah, if I was giving this away, I might say that uh, a kid so sewed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. So we're not worrying right now what color each part has to be. It's going to be In the end, we're dress. just going with whatever color. Yeah, just giving them a quick. We're just getting them all traced because we're going to rough cut our shapes out after we get them traced. I'm actually having quite a lot of fun tracing these. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I like draw tracing on the back of um of that stuff. What? <laughs> Try to read what it says under there. Um, we had uh, a customer come in last year that was looking to do just a quick um, stocking. And she's like, I've never sewn before, I, um, but I want to decorate and do just something fun with my kids who are really young. Um, and so she's like, I just, I don't know how to do this. And I said, well, just... If you get some of this fusible, you can actually just, like, 
you could even buy just a pre-made stocking and then just put this fusible on the backs of whatever shapes you want to cut out and just oh, you totally could. use it on like it would be so you can do these simple little craft projects with kids and you don't necessarily have to sew with them if you know depending on their age sometimes that's just not appropriate sewing with you know like really little ones but you could glue or you could fuse it on or you could there's great ways to do fabric projects that'll last for a long time oh there's my other pages <laughs> yes sorry i had to I move them to all right so i finished this whole page both sides and now i'm just going to start on this page and what i am checking is I'm reading here and the barn right half and then I have to match the dotted lines and trace the barn as one shape. Okay. So I think I'm going to do that one first and then I'll fill in all my little gaps over there. Okay. Because I think, where's the other half of the barn? It's over there. There it is. Barn left half. Is it the same size? Could you just fold your no, it's slightly different shape. One side okay. is oh, a little yeah, skinnier that. and one side's a little taller. Okay, just so tricky. Yeah, well, good to know. work on that one. Get that one done and then we'll continue on. This is quite fun. It is. Well, I definitely did not sew this very straight. But I think that's kind of the nice thing. These are fairly forgiving <laughs> because I don't have to wear it. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Okay. Yep. Plus, it's an art project, right? It's applique. Yep. It's a very hard angle to draw on, so I'm just going to color it in. This looks good. Oh, I love brunch fabric. There we go. Okay. So I just made my little dashies and then I'm going to get this guy, stick him underneath and finish off the other half of that little barn. Oh, that lined up pretty well actually. Look at that, I cut them exactly right and, it, and it's sewing using buttons instead of my foot pedal, which is Always a bit of a disaster, some, but I'm. I think I'm getting used to it. Sewing in the studio, I'm getting used to sewing using my fingers instead of a foot pedal. Maureen always likes the challenge. I do, yeah. And sewing on different machines. I, I actually am enjoying sewing with different machines, getting to know them a bit better here in the shop. Did you know the barn is piece number one? I didn't, because I just found that out. That's cool. I, I like, like it. it. All right, I might give us a little trim here just to make less of a bulk to work with. Yeah. I'm almost done and then I can help cut out some of these pieces. Fabulous. close to my nose there but that's okay <laughs> not my nose the, the, the reindeer Rudolph's nose, nose. Yes. yeah this nose <laughs> there we go okay. and I was looking apparently those little arrows I'm drawing all over yeah are going to come in handy soon oh they're going to tell us which way the item needs to sit Oh, okay. So it has to always point up. Okay. So if there's no little arrow, it's okay. Then it can go. It can go whatever way it wants to. Okay. Within reason, I suppose. Well, that does make things a little bit easier. This is fun. I might have to make more batch abilities now. I looked at them a couple of times and thought, you know, I think that would be a fun little project. Like the, the, um, the lemonade one and the watermelon one, like the little wall hangings for the summertime. I think mm -hmm. those look fun to put like on the patio or something. 
This is very fun. Yeah. I think Anne was saying uh, she takes her usually only a day yeah, they're really to quick. stitch them out. That's what I like is they're super fast. Okay, so I'm going to stand behind you here. So this is how long it is. It's like the whole screen length long. It's 39 inches is pretty long. Well, and it's 39 plus the three inches at the top. So it's like 42 inches. That's really big. Yeah. Good it's size. going to be so fun. I like it. For some reason, I didn't think this was going to be that big. I know. I, I don't, like, I just never really processed 39 inches, right, or 42. I'm pleasantly so. surprised, though. Me too. I like it. It means you could fit more treats for yourself in there. So I'm going to set this part aside. That was and then, a good spot. So it's out of the way, and then I'll help you. I'm just going to erase what I did because my uh, designs were on top of each other. Oh, fun. I like that. <laughs> Would you like to trim out the yep. little shapes? Yes, I'll do that with these teensy tiny. All right. Maureen likes to use the tiny scissors. Yeah. So we're using uh, Karen, Karen J. J. Buckley's. And I'm going to, just because it's it's funny, let me see, am I in the camera? There we go. I'm going to use these ridiculously tiny little ones, but just because they're funny. And the funny thing is, even though they're ridiculously tiny, they're actually really comfortable. That I could get two fingers in there with my thumb in, and they're because of the um, silicone handles, they're um, they're not uncomfortable. Some little tiny ones are horrible. These ones are not. They're they're very nice. Now I'm going to cut a little bit of a distance away from the edge, just so that when we get it on, we can trim the proper size without, um, so it'll be a second trim on them, but I think that that'll make it easier in the long run to get the right I can make right, some room for you right over shape. here, Maureen, if you okay. like to come hang out. So I can be on in the light. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. There we go. So I'm just trimming like a, I don't know, between an eighth and a quarter inch away. And then we'll, when we put it on, it'll, then we'll get the, perfect cut on it. It'll just make it uh, easier to get a precise measurement because that will be the final when you do the um, the last cut on the fabric. There is no, um, like it's a raw edge applique that we're doing, so you don't want to have a monkey's breakfast. We don't want a monkey's breakfast. No, not so much. Okay. Okay. So I got that side. Check the other side. It looks like I have some more stuff to do on here. I was reading a book this weekend that um, that had monkeys in it. I was thinking about monkeys. <laughs> monkeys doing human jobs. Is that why you went with monkey breakfast? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've got monkeys on the brain. It was a good book, and now it's done. I like getting into a book and like just going into a different world. I read a lot. <laughs> That's why you have one of those uh, e-readers. That's right. Yeah, I, I lost my other e-reader, and I thought I would, like my entire being felt lost. All right. We're getting there, Maureen. Just going to clip off a little more. There we go. And I've got the body. News. This is good teamwork. Yeah, I like this. It's working out well. This feels like something you could do as like a family project. I think you totally could do this as a family project, you know? You have uh, the kids that like to draw, the kids that like to uh, trim out with scissors. Yeah. I think there's a, a part for someone of pretty much any age here. Yep. Somebody mixing drinks, somebody, <laughs> you know, hot someone chocolate. Someone getting the snacks ready. Yeah. Somebody making popcorn. Someone ironing. Yeah, absolutely. 
somebody whinging. There's always somebody whinging. So my parents took off on vacation mm -hmm. on the weekend, and my dad, they landed, they uh, they went down to Mexico, and I think they, they just got to their hotel room, and my mom sends me a message, and she says, oh, it's 30 degrees, it's so hot down here. I was like, oh, <laughs> are you whining? She goes, no, not really, I'm bragging. <laughs> you know, it's it's still quite nice here, especially for November. Absolutely, but it's not exactly... Um, it's it's not... Uh, beach chair and... and the, no. No. Uh, yeah, but I'm not, not complaining. Chair I'm not complaining. This is not... Like, I got my um, snow tires put on last week, and then... I was driving around and I thought, boy, we only had, it's not bad, we've oh. only had one, one snow. I did that one already. Before I got my snow tires. Now we have two reindeer heads. Oh, okay. Just gotta erase that. Don't worry this about it. This is why I maybe, use the pencil. That's okay, maybe we'll make two of these. Do you need to make two? Not really, but doesn't mean I won't. Could be fun. Right I'm going to erase it. Okay. That's why I brought the pencil with the eraser. Okay. Well, you brought it. You knew I'd have some whipsies. I find it easier to draw on this with pencil. I don't, I don't know. Do you? Yeah. Have you used pen before? Um, I have. Also with uh, pattern ease, I like pencil as well. Does uh, pencil smear or pen smear on this? No. He's I, being um, a lefty for me. It's an important thing to know. <laughs> uh, it's not that it smears. I find that uh, sometimes you get like, it, it gums up. Like it, it doesn't, it's almost like it, it wants to release more ink than... Than it does. Oh, it's almost like the pen gets confused. Yeah. Interesting. Particularly on patternies. But it might just be because I have a tendency to use gel pens. So maybe that's the problem. Oh, maybe. All right. We have both sides of that done. And now we just need a few more. I also just really like pencils. Pencils are nice. They're very forgiving, you know. It's like a, a wash away fabric marker. Yes. Very forgiving. If I call that bow cent C, we'll remember it's bow center, right? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Oh. We forgot there's one in here that didn't get a marking, but I'm imagining it's probably the pom pom. Uh, yeah, that one didn't have a marking. Okay. It looks like about the pom pom size, so. What I what I've seen on these is. The ones that are obvious in the direction that they go, they don't have an arrow, but the ones that aren't obvious, they have an arrow. Okay. And the ones that don't matter, don't have an arrow. Okay. So my parents um, have also told me that for Christmas this year, they're leaving. They're going to. Where are they going? They're going to Europe. I have a sister that lives in uh, the Netherlands, and so they've decided that they're going to spend Christmas with her this year. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, I thought, oh, could you pack me in the bags? I'd like to go too. Yeah, just I'll just fit in there. Don't worry about. Yeah, me. yeah. Let's. It'll let's, have enough room. Don't worry. Let's all go. <laughs> So it's going to be a quiet year for us. Have you got any Christmas plans? Not yet, but I'm sure I will have some soon. It seems a little oh. bit early, but not reversed. Not reversed. Okay. So we don't need that one. That's all our pieces, Maureen. Excellent. It seems like it's too far away to plan, except that it's really not. It's not. We're already mid-November. I heard on the radio today. Guess how many days it is till Christmas? I'm gonna say 42? 45. 45, okay. You were so close. Yeah, I was thinking we're, we're about six weeks away, so. 45, wow. Yeah, it's really not many. No. Wow. Oh. I thought I was being a bit silly, and then I was like, well, no, mid November makes it. Wow. That 
was way faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we got a question. What are we doing? We are making an advent calendar with the Rufus the Reindeer advent calendar kit from Patchabilities. It's pretty cute. Yes. Lots of usable applique. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of room for creativity. Yeah. So today is all of the prep pieces. Yeah. So today we're prepping. Tomorrow we're going to start stitching. Yeah. We'll get all of these pieces on their fabric and start blanket stitching them down. I'm just going to cut up just a little extra scraps there. And by the end of the week, if you're following along, we will have an entire advent calendar done and ready to use. Yeah, I hope by Friday we will. That would be fantastic. Oh, we'll make it happen. We're making it happen. Okay. Yeah. So if you're sewing along with us, we're going to have a fun time. I am the queen of 90% finished projects. So I have decided that this is going to be the 100% finished project. Well, yeah, it will. Who wants a 90% finished advent calendar? That's um, no use. Nobody. Nobody. Because you can't put treats in it. No. Well, you probably could if you had most of it done and you just didn't bind it. But that's not pretty. So we're going to get it all the way done. So if you want motivation to get an advent calendar done and follow along. Let's do this. Alrighty. How's your chopping going? Pretty good. I'm getting the, the um, I'm working on it. Whatever these are, antlers. Nice. I was gonna say hoofs. I'm like, nope, that's the wrong end of the beast. I like the rough cut part. Chop, I chop, have to chop. keep reminding myself that it's just rough cut. I don't have to be so precise. As I'm chop, 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 big border. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll help you with that piece. Okay, thanks. Because, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm being very precise and it really doesn't need to be. It's kind of ridiculous. We, we will be per precise later. In fact, if you looked at these, you'd probably laugh. They're all like perfectly cut. It's kind of silly. So the reason why we're rough cutting is because we have to separate our pieces to get them on the right colors. And then after we iron them onto our fabrics, we'll trim them out properly later. Yeah. So by rough cutting, we're saving ourselves some time. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to have to cut them a second time anyway, so. Yeah. So why be perfect? Try, I'm just chop, chop, chop. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm like. <laughs> Maureen, Maureen likes making it really nice. I am a little bit more of a kamikaze. Today. Well, there's just no reason to, for cutting it like that. It's All right. Ridiculous. Okay. So there is one step extra we are going to do. And we are going to add some fusible woven to the backs of our white fabrics. Yes, so that we can, so that they'll stay white against the darker fabric. Yes, because once we start piling these on top of dark fabrics, we will be able to see the dark right through them. So we're trying to make it look a little tidier. So we've added just a chunk of fusible woven to our main cut. And we're going to add that on first. So I have uh, the bumpy dots facing towards the back of my fabric and it's not an iron so much as it is pressing here that yeah. we're going to do. Yeah, we don't want to stretch it. Yeah, so we just pick up our iron, put it down, hold for a couple seconds, scooch it over, press it down, a couple seconds. Yeah. Yep. Easy and then done. that's how we'll attach those as well. Yes. Yeah. This stuff, thankfully, it doesn't, um, it doesn't move an awful lot. Like sometimes, um, like the, the paper on the, the heat and bond keeps it from stretching and moving. Mm -hmm. However, you could still, if you, if you move it around as if you're ironing with any pressure, you could still accidentally stretch out your fabric and then you get wonky shapes that you didn't intend to have. Yeah. So you have to be careful. We don't, we don't need some wonky shapes today. No. Again, it's thankfully it's not clothing that we're trying to wear. So 
it won't matter quite as much as it could, but I'm still trying to be yeah. semi-accurate. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, would you like to so, start organizing shapes? Yeah, let's see. We've got... So we can start right off with the white stuff. So that's the chimney snow cap here. And a pom-pom is going to go onto the sparkly white that you're pressing right now. Awesome. And then when that's all fused, a little bit to my <laughs> right to the table. ironing pad. <laughs> and I'm just going to let that cool before I start moving it. Yep. And then the star is going to go to that piece that you're working on there. Oh, fabulous. Uh, I try. Then, we're going to do a body. Actually, we'll do, let's start with one. Maybe we can let that cool right off and we can do the whites after even. And we can just start with number one and go all the way up. What do you think? Yes, you could do that. Okay. Does anything else have to come out of that piece, or is it just the barn? Just the barn. Oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. it looks like our barn shading goes yeah, so multiple ways. So, what's, so what way can, do we want it to point? We can look at our picture, and we can decide if we want to have the barn go this direction, or if we want the barn to go up and down. What do you think? That's a hard choice. I know. I was, I was what does the picture like, look like? Hmm. I think the wood should go up and down. I think so too. Okay. Then I think I like the up and down wood. Yeah, I think because it actually has some wood grain in it, like some looks. So let's yeah, let's pick our up and down barn. That together as a pair. Put that together as a pair just so I remember for later. Yep, no problem. All right. And you want up and down wood. Up and down, yeah. So I'm going to put my fabric right side down. And I'm just going to iron out that little yeah, that's funny. seam. Or not seam, it's a fold. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to put my little barn down. I might trim off some of this extra at the bottom. Just so I'm not using so much fabric. All right. Perfect. Looks perfect. So this is paper side up, texture side down, barn piece one. And I'm just going to start from the middle, hold for a couple seconds, and then we'll go to the next section of it. Okay. And then next, you're going to have some roof pieces. Maureen, have you ever tried to peel off a piece of Wonder Under on the back of a project before it cools? No. Isn't it so hard? Well, okay, I've no. I've tried. It's very hard to do. Okay. <laughs> it's best to wait for it to cool. Okay. <laughs> like to take the paper off? Yeah, take the okay. paper off. Okay. You gotta wait for it to cool. That's what I learned. I learned the hard way. Interesting. No, I've um I've always just like put it all on and then stuck it off to the side, like I I do one step and one step and one step. It's kind of like the way I eat. So I eat all the peas and then all of the rice. That's and how I eat. This is fantastic. Okay. Well, this I'm one's telling done. you, we are the same person in two different bodies. It's very eerie at times. Okay, that's very warm. So there's our roof. It's going to okay. be on this black shingle-like fabric. And so this one's a little harder to see, but it's uh, black on yeah. black, like it's a tone on tone. So I'm just going to Flip it right side down. And I'm going to pre-place these again like Maureen did. I thought there was one more thing that needed to be black. Like a nose or something. Mm. Did we lose our placement pieces? Absolutely. Yeah, I have no idea. Did it fall down? Oh, it fell down. Did it go for Hold a wander? Okay. I will free it from Excellent. the floor. Okay. Oh, it's the bow center, maybe. Oh, yeah, the center of the bow, which is number 26. Okay. I'm glad we numbered them. Thank you for Me too. doing that, we. <laughs> the royal we. 
there we go. It's a tiny little piece. Oh, fantastic. I'll add that piece after. Okay. So I don't uh, get it trapped. Okay. And we've got this one. I think, yeah, that's his main body. Yeah, so we got his and body his and face. his head. Fantastic. There we go. Head. And there might be and body hind legs. Yeah, it looks like five and six. This is fun. It I'm is kind of fun. Time. I like I, I feel like we're playing a game of puzzles and I love puzzles. Oh gosh, puzzles are the best. Who doesn't love a good puzzle? That's what we usually do for Christmas. Is we put a puzzle out. Okay. And everyone's puzzling. That's awesome. Okay, so <laughs> that'll fun. need an iron in the middle. All right, I'm just going to scooch that a bit further oh, off now that it's cooler. Okay, so I've got his body, his head, and his leggies. Getting the iron out. This is a very perfect color for his body. It really is, yeah. All right, we're going to flip this right side down. And I'm just going to do a little yeah, test. Tetris because it's easier to do it now than regret my choices <laughs> later. Yeah, get them half stuck <laughs> on and then go, uh-oh. And it looks like there's more than enough fabric in here. Yeah. For if I do make an accident. Yeah, so I don't cut them quite right or we yeah. don't, yeah. I'm so down for that. I, I love when there's extra boo-boo fabric. Yes. Because inevitably, <laughs> inevitably, there's an accident. Yes. If you're sewing with Maureen, there and will Chelsea. be. Yes. <laughs> we, we have. Now is a good time to admit else. that when I was cutting the edging pieces, the, like the dark blue that goes around the outside, I trimmed one piece wrong and went, uh oh. But thankfully, Dawn gave us enough pieces in the kit that I was able to cut it correctly and move on. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. I am actually just loving the fabrics in this. Game. Yeah, this is really cute. I think my favorite is that buffalo itty bitty check. Yeah, the little tiny check. It's coming up, don't worry. It's soon. It's really nice fabric, just period. I was like, it's a it's kind of a, a heavier weight cotton. I'm, I'm looking, for, I was thinking I might buy some to make an apron with or you could make yourself a scarf with it oh yes that would make a lot imagine scarf. one side um cuddle or minky and the other side the buffalo jack that would be nice that would be so cute i like this piece i'm not even holding it it's the right size all right okie dokie that one is done maybe i'll switch the other one over to the right there you go. okay all right Antlers. next piece is so this one's a nice dark brown with swirls. <clears throat> I'm going to fabric save for boo-boos. <laughs> yep. Good thinking. Okay, now where are we at here? Got a hat cuff. Okay. This one. This uh, ultra bound is or ultra ultra bound ultra hold ultra hold yeah. It's going on very nicely. It does. It it's quite it it, it um it, it's quite nice. I enjoy it. The wonder under is very nice too. I I really like the paper backed um yeah. stuff like the wonder under and the yeah. All right, who's next? So uh, this is the hat cup, and I'm trying to decide if I like the vertical of the hat cup or oh, yes. it would be nice horizontal, and I think I like the vertical. I so, think I like the vertical, yeah, too. Yeah, so let's go vertical Fantastic. with that. And that's our little arrow pointing us upwards. Yeah. So we know where our top is. Yeah. And then... I love that the little arrows will put on all the pieces, so it takes away a lot of the guessing. Yeah, we're not like, uh-oh, what's happening? <laughs> Where, where did I put that piece? <laughs> yeah. This is the ball. All right, that looks fantastic. Okay, and this will be 
his bow. Okay. Oh, that's so cute too. Isn't the bottle yes. check. Very. Oh, not upside down. That's no. how we need some iron cleaner after. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me how we know that. Time, right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness we've got all of that ODIF iron cleaner. Yeah, we do have iron cleaner. Yeah. Well, we got all that new stuff in the pouch. Yeah, the little I'm pouchy stuff. Kind of want to try, but. Not because I wrecked my iron, just because <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Not because I had an accident. Yeah. Uh, so this is nose piece 16. We're just doing yep. it in a nice red. Then and my touch. iron's just big enough to do the whole thing at once. Hoof, 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 hoof. Wow, we're almost done all our pieces. Yes. They came together right, right nicely. Okay, and then I think, yes, I think his ears are also... In that. Oh, are they? Yeah, they look like. Okay, let's scooch those in. Yeah, they're the same as his hoofs. Hoofs, sis, sis. <laughs> That's some fun puzzling. <laughs> I'm having a great time over here. Hoofs or heaps or <laughs> moofs or meeps. <laughs> hoofy, hoofy, hoofs. Hoof, 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 hoof. Hoofs, And then lots of. Scarf piecing on this nice oh, red. Oh yeah, that's going to be adorable. I love this. Yes, it's right. really nice. Ready for that one? Yeah. I'm taking off some extra. There we go. Great idea. That might have been what I trimmed. <laughs> uh, just maybe. Yeah. Probably. It was just a oh. Script. I know they're both the There's same. There's no right side. There's probably just going to be a side we like the most. Do you like that side the most? I can't tell. I, okay, they great. look exactly the same to me. So perfect. Then there is no wrong answer. Exactly. That might mean it might be a little bit harder to place these down the right way <laughs> later. Yeah. We'll we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. There's no blue light for scarlet and and red or scarlet and black. Unfortunately. Right. These might be ready for trimming. Okay. And then when you're And then I'll finish done, off you can the do whites. These, the whites. Okay. So we just have um, our star and our trimney snow cap. And then Maureen's going to show you how we'll so trim them. On these, now when we're doing the second trim, we're going to trim right on the lines this time because now we're not looking to leave any seam allowance. They're on a rough cut applique, like on a rough edge applique. There is no seam allowance. So we just cut along the edges. I may have taken up the spot for my hat over here, so I have to move it. That's all right. <laughs> we'll use that scrap for something else because oh, we sure will. I will always find a reason to use a scrap of buffalo chip. Oh, it's just so cute. So there is hoof one, right hind hoof. Fabulous job, Maureen. And left hind foot coming up. The nice thing is we've still got all of the written instructions on the back. Maureen, yes. when it comes to your little star, would you also like the grain to be pointing upwards or would you like it to go sideways so it's not the same? Let's do it sideways so okay. that it's different. I'm going to flip it like that. There's no reason to that other than just being different. Side being different. Yeah. And we stuck on the fusible woven first because otherwise our wonder under would be trapped. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't I, need our wonder under trapped. I was making uh, Christmas cards this weekend with my girlfriends. And that was kind of fun. I enjoyed that. Do you make Christmas cards? I do. I think I have to make an extra Christmas card this year because uh, someone's getting married that we know, and they're getting married on December 31st. Oh, wow. So I think their wedding card might just be a Christmas card. I have two friends. Well, one is a, my brother-in-law, which also a friend, but brother-in-law, um, whose birthday is New Year's Eve. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I think it's a good time to get married because everybody's already partying, so. It is a great time to get married. It's Everybody's already home. 
Yep. Yeah, it's always going to be a chance to see everybody. Plus, it's um, it's already a holiday, so it's easy to have time off for it. It was one of the reasons my husband and I, when we we eloped, <laughs> much to our family's um, disappointment. <laughs> Um, but we we got married uh, at the beginning of November with the idea being that we would always be able to kind of get away for uh, the Remembrance Day weekend mm -hmm. kind of timing, like around Halloween. We, we always figured it wouldn't matter if we got away like the exact day, just sometime around then. But there would always be kind of a chance to get away. And then two years later, our son was born the day before our anniversary. <laughs> Oh, so it's always a, a pain to like it's hard to get away be, while he's growing up anyways because then we would be leaving for his birthday yeah you can't do that so yeah it's kind of awkward but that's okay eventually he'll be grown up enough that he won't care that mom and dad aren't around that time or maybe he always will i don't know yeah maybe maybe, maybe he just wants you around all the time right which is fine. I've gotten to the, we've been married for so long now that I figure as long as we get away sometime in the year and we'll just say happy anniversary, even if it's in July. <laughs> Sweet. You kind of get to the point where you start celebrating like the fives and tens and the in-betweens you mm -hmm. have dinner. That's what we did this year. Well, that's a very good idea. That's what my parents did. Their anniversary is on the 7th of November. Oh, okay. Yeah, ours is the 3rd. And then we had our, like, we came back. Our parents insisted on having, like, a dinner. They, they were like, we'll have, like, a barbecue when you come home. And so we did, and that was on the November 10th, their little reception type thing, which was ridiculous but um yeah it worked out these are weirdly comfortable aren't they i definitely have three fingers shoved in one hole oh, I, I usually put one in it and two outside and... i also got them a little stuck don't do that <laughs> but they look like they'd be kind of weird but they're very easy to cut with aren't they oh yeah they're awesome awesome well, maybe we should finish doing all the rest of our cutting off camera. Yeah. And we will come back tomorrow and we can And we can start ironing on and placing them. So, yeah, this is all we're, we're going to be doing is just finishing cutting them all out. And so that's what they're, they're going to look like. So here's our pieces. And then we'll peel off the back. I don't want to do that just yet because it's got all of our placement instructions on them. But that's what they're going to look like. And... Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I I'm love it. I'm loving this. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today, everyone. Yep. We will see you tomorrow. Absolutely. Have a great day. Bye.